Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to get through the Tadarok Shrine, but first I'm going to show you where it is. So along Lake Hylia in the Great Plateau subregion of Hyrule Field, you want to find this cave. It's behind the waterfall, and then walk in, and then you will find a bubble frog up on the ceiling if you want to try it for a bubble gem. But the shrine is actually through here. And it's behind this like like so you know farm this cave all you want but the shrine is back here and so once we're in the shrine the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take these orbs out of the water to prevent it from being electrified this way we can cross it easily so you probably really only need to take one of these out but I was just being overly cautious and took both of them out once they're out, you want to take the block that's available, and then you want to bring it all the way across the gap, or you can put it in the gap and use it as a stepping stone, uh, but you basically just want to swim over and then use the block in the next set of puzzles. All right, so once on the other side, you will notice that a ice block is coming out of a little chimney producer thing, but it's immediately being melted by the flame jets. So you want to use the block you brought with you to cover up those flame jets and then bring this ice block over here in order to access the chest that is up on the ledge over there. All right, go ahead and set it down. You could set it down a lot closer than I did, but you could still make it with a big jump. Inside of this chest for me was a strong Zonai shield or a mighty Zonate shield. And then once you are ready with that, you want to start moving over to the other side of the shrine. And for this, you need to use solid blocks in order to make the crossing. So we are going to take this block out, and then we're gonna use it as a bridge. So we're gonna set it down towards the middle. It doesn't really matter where you set it as long as you kind of have a bridge for yourself. So you can use that to step over, but I'm gonna quickly realize I need to bring something back with me, so. We are going to grab the original block and use it to create a more uh, safe bridge or judicious bridge. Go ahead and set it right there. And then you can make your way over. So this wooden box is being set on fire by flame jets. However, if you wait too long, it will break. So this took me a second to figure out, but basically what you wanna do is you want to immediately take the wooden box out of this little section and then bring it into the water to extinguish the flames. If you block the flame jets using a block, uh, the wooden crate will no longer fall out of the chimney. So you need to just be very quick with it and allow it to drop down and then bring it into the water pretty much right away. This way it extinguishes the flames. All right, once the flames are extinguished, you want to then bring this wooden box into the main area of the shrine because we are now going to basically kind of play building blocks with all of these blocks to get to the exit. And I'm gonna warn you, my solution may not necessarily be the intended solution. It felt a little janky while I was doing it, but it's what worked for me and it will undoubtedly work for you as well. All right, bring the wooden crate over to the other side get back across your bridge, and then you basically want to reset everything so all three, uh, the, the wooden box, the two stone blocks, as well as the ice block are ready for you to use. First thing you want to do is bring this orb out of the water, this way the electricity stops flowing, and then you can start building your structure to make it up. So you want to take this first solid block, you want to use that to block the flame jets, and make sure it's aligned properly because you really don't want any flames getting near the ice block if you can prevent it. So once that's in place, you want to then take the second solid block and then you are going to place it in the water underneath the platform. This way you can step on this block and then use ascend to get through that platform and get yourself up. Once that's ready, you then want to take either the ice block or the wooden box. I'm gonna start with the wooden box and then I'm going to attach it to the block that I have on top of the platform and that's gonna sort of form two blocks sitting next to each other. Next, I'm gonna take the ice block and then I'm just gonna attach it to the front side of the wooden box, again, keeping it away from the flame. Once you're ready, go ahead and ascend up through this platform and then you wanna jump over to the ice block Climb up, 
walk over to the solid block, and now we're literally gonna kind of build the plane in the air here. So you wanna take the ultra hand back out, you want to detach the ice block, and then you could do this a little bit quicker than I'm about to do, but basically you want to attach the ice block to a place that you can then climb with it, and then you're gonna climb on top, and then you're gonna take the wooden box, and then you're gonna detach it, and then you're basically gonna sort of raise the wooden block. This way it's attached to the top part of the solid block. And then once you do that, you're then able to reconfigure the ice block so you can climb it again. Let's go ahead and place this a little further down, make it attached to the top section of the solid block, and then you're gonna take the ice block, put it on top of the wooden box, and then climb again. And then you should be able to do a bit of a running jump across the lip, and that's the shrine. Again, I'm not 100% sure if that's the intended solution, but that's what worked for me. If you use a different solution, let me know in the comments. But that's it. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the Join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.